on, guys. So I want to talk about the call log here because a lot of people get into this business and I'm pretty sure you didn't get into the business to suck. No one wakes up in the morning and goes, I can't wait to suck today. The reality is you go, you guys woke up with an intention to let me try. Let me try to do this the right way. And so I'm going to show you guys when we do calls, it can get very emotional. And when we have an objection on anything in life, it gives us as humans some sort of an emotion. Like, oh, they don't want to hear from me. Or we start to get in our own head. We're like, well, I don't even know if I should call that person because it's like, that's not your job. Your job is simply to make calls and do the calls the best you possibly can. Don't overthink it. So I'm gonna show you guys on my screen really quick call log. So we use a call log for a couple of reasons. One, so we're not making calls emotionally based, we're making calls statistically based. You wanna know your numbers. I highly encourage using a physical pen, use a pen and paper, print this out. If you don't have one, we have tons at our office and your district manager probably has some, but it has a hundred calls on here. I'm not saying make a hundred calls every time you make calls, but I'm saying, can you make 40? Could you make one row, 20, right? And there's some power to it when you make your calls, guys, to actually have a row, have a have a target, have an end goal that you can physically see, right? Versus just using the phone and, and well, I think I made this many calls. Like, have this printed out. It will do wonders for you. It's one of those secrets of the game that a lot of people just push to the side and don't, don't take the power of. And so if you look at this, you're going to see at the bottom, it says no answer is a slash over the number. Answer is an X over the number. And then demo booked is an X plus a circle. So when I do data research on, on a rep and I'm like, okay, let's look at your calls. One is, are you actually using the proper system? And the system is a lot of piece of paper, as tedious as it sounds, have a call log, use a pen, a paper, and do it the right way, right? Step two is we look at it. Okay, how many calls did they actually make? 20, okay. How many got slashes? How many got Xs? So if they got a bunch of slashes, but no Xs, they're probably calling at random hours that are not your money hours. It's not 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. I know 7 a.m. might sound very early, but the average CEO wakes up at 5 a.m. and they usually, are, I mean, they usually wake up at 4.30 and they're like doing stuff at 5 a.m. 7 a.m., we're already rolling on most of our days, right? And so if you want to get that prominent business owner, you want to catch that doctor, you want to catch that lawyer who's always really busy, a 7 a.m. call does wonders. Now, a 7 a.m. call is not great for like the teacher or the middle class American, right? And they probably won't answer you. No big deal. You get a slash. But the ones you do answer and you get that X over the number at like 7 a.m., usually a money client. Now, that's why we call in waves, though, too, because one time's not going to work for everybody. So it's 7 to 9 a.m., 7 to 9 p.m. And we just call at the right times. If you're calling from like, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a normal weekday, on a typical work day, you're probably gonna have a bunch of slashes over the number. So being logistically sound when you do this is smart, right? So I'll look at the things and if there's a bunch of slashes, again, probably not making calls at the right time. But if they have a good average and they have a bunch of X's but no circles, I'm gonna say, hey, how is your phone approach? And sometimes it's just about sharpening this all. Let's get let's get firmed up on our phone approach. So if, if that's you and you're sitting there, you're looking at your call log, because you're, you're at least using a call log, and you go, I have a bunch of X's, but not circles. I would highly suggest call the top ranking MIT, call your top ranking assistant manager, call your district manager and say, can we do our phone approach over the phone really fast for like five minutes? And you just hear my approach and let me know if it sounds good. Get a time to do that. Put some time to sharpening the saw. But using a call log, doing this the right way is a critical part of the business. So many kids will just do this all emotionally based and then they wonder, why don't I have any leads? Why am I not getting any demos? And the reality is we're not taking it as serious as we should. I'm not saying you have to be a CSP or a top performer. I'm saying just do the best you can and do it the right way.